Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to see the solution for the Hackerath problem, dislikes and party. This was a part of the Mass Circuits 20 and was the first question to appear in that. So basically, in this question, we have n people, and we have to calculate the number of handshakes amongst them. Given that there are 10 people from those n who dislike other nine people. For example, we have seven. And 7 doesn't like 9 people who are 3, 11, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 8, and 9. 1 has 9 people who he doesn't like. 11, 10, 5, 6, 8, 3, 7, 4, 2. So, like this, we have 10 people and they don't like the subsequent 9 people. And if one person doesn't like the other person, then they won't be shaking hands with each other. So, even if one person doesn't like the other, there won't be a handshake amongst them. So now we have to calculate the total number of handshakes that will take place at the party. So I've used a very simple approach. Basically what I've done is I've calculated the total number of the handshakes which will be n into n minus 1 by 2. As for n people, the total number of handshakes if everybody is shaking hands with everybody is n into n minus 1 by 2. And then basically I'm using a map. So if 7 and 3 are not shaking hands, I'm counting. And then 7 and 11 are not shaking hands, so I'm counting the number of pairs which won't shake hands. And then simply answer minus count will give me my answer. But I have to mind one thing. If I'm counting 7 and 3, then I have to make sure that I don't count 3 and 7 again. Because 7 and 3 and 3 and 7 are basically the same thing. And for that, I'll be using a map. And then I'll be having two pairs. So a pair of LL, comma LL, named X. And a pair of ll comma ll y and you'll be seeing why i'm using two pairs so then i'm taking in the value and if j is equal to zero that means it's the first person so i'm saying x dot first is equal to a of i j and y dot second is equal to a of i j else if j is greater than zero that means the subsequent 9 people who he doesn't like then x dot second is equal to a of i j and y dot first is equal to a of i j so in this way I'm considering 7 and 3 and 3 and 7 at the same time so I won't have the hassle of checking again then I'm checking if map of x is equal to 0 and map of y is equal to 0 that means we haven't checked this case, this pair. So count plus plus and map of x plus plus. So map of x will be 1, 1 and map of y will be 1. Meaning that we have considered 3 and 7 and 7 and 3 at the same time. And that's pretty much it. So we'll be counting and mapping the pairs that we've counted. And then from the total number of handshakes, I'm subtracting count. So if we check. So as you can see, it's passing all the test cases within the time limit as we're using map and mapping every pair to an integer. Thank you.